Now, what's going to happen is that you're going to encounter many, you, when, you're, when you're reading these cases, you read several cases a night. You'll be, you'll be reading several cases a night per course, all right? Several, pe several cases per night per course. So it's important for you to have a sense of keeping up with all this material because it's, it's, an, it's an, an overwhelming amount of material. But there's a, there are methods by which this, this, this seemingly overwhelming amount of material can be handled properly. You will have many people, many facts, many details in all of these cases. You'll have different courts, you'll have different situations, different states, different counties. You'll have different situations that, that, that boggle the mind. And what's important is that you keep track of what the purpose is of reading these particular cases. As I've mentioned previously, and I'll say it again, all of the cases that are in your case books are placed in specific positions for a reason. And what's important for you to do is to constantly, regularly, pay attention to where you are in the case book so you know what the case is there for. You'll know why you're reading the case. And also look at the subheadings because you will have subheadings in your case book and they will give you an idea as to what you know, this is all about, where you are in terms of the overall course. So what we're going to talk about briefly is what we call the law school method, which is basically starting off with reading the case and find out where we are. Where, where is this case? We've, we've got a case here and it says, uh, Supreme Court of Michigan, 1925, 23 Mich 227, 206, Northwest 496. You're going, to, you're, you're going to get a lot of information, but what's particularly important is, is to start off reading the case and, and identifying where are we? What court is this? What, is this, is this a, a lower court? Is this a, is this a federal court? Is this a state court? Is it a lower court? Is it a, an appeals court? Or is it the United States Supreme Court? So whenever you're looking at a case, identify what court is this? You know, it, because that will give you a, a, a very important uh, insight as to, as to the, the, the prominence and, and, the, and, and the, uh, the weight of this decision that you're going to be reading. And then you, you ask yourself, what's the point? Why are we reading this case? And here again, as I mentioned previously, fitness for use. This subheading says fitness for use. In your subheading of your particular case, you will see a different subheading. Find out where you are in the case. Identify why the case is in this section. And then you will know where you, where you are. Okay? Because what, what's important is that you're going to be assigned sequential cases by your law professor. And the, pro the process of going through this law school experience involves keeping up with the professor, keeping up with the syllabus, keeping up with your peers. What's very important is, is understanding where you are. And, when, and part and parcel of that is identifying you know, what point of law, what's the point? Not just what's the point of reading this, what point of law is being discussed, is being illustrated by this particular case. Here's, one of the, here, here's what we recommend that you do. Skim the case. First thing you do is, is skim the case. In other words, you just, just skim over the, 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 the general, just get a general feel as to what this case is about. Read the first paragraph, and then just like skim through it, see how long the case is, you know, look for a little high points. Sometimes there may be some some italics that are in the case. You'll see different citations. And one of the keys is look, when you're looking at a case, looking at the citations because citations are key to all casework. In other words, each case, each, each court is always going to cite, usually going to cite a precedent. And those precedents are going to be affirmed at the higher level. So what you need to do is just get an overview first of what the case is about and find out generally, you know, uh, why it's in, in this particular area. Then read the case. Read the case thoroughly. You must read the case thoroughly. 
And because you have such a, a heavy workload, because you have so many cases that you have to read, it's very important that you pace yourself. You, can, you, you will not have the time to read slowly. I mean, unless you are going to set aside an enormous amount of time, you have to set for yourself a good pace so that you don't take too much time. When you first start law school, your workload will not be as heavy as it will later on. The professors understand this. So when you first start reading your courses, your, your cases, it's important that you read them carefully, but at a, at, a, at a good clip so that you're not you know, spending too much time on any one case. Um, and that's one other point that is very important. Each night, have a sense of how much work that you're going to have to do that particular night so you know how much time to devote to it. And do that in anticipation for the next day. Plan your day in advance so that you know how much time you're going to set aside for, for reading the night before.